Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another day of episode reviews. Today, we're checking out episode 11, Griefbringer. Nia has trouble getting control over the crazy months, but eventually she uses her powers to force them to attend a truce meeting. On the other side, Kai also gets the geckos to attend the meeting, and they also meet Gleck, who is the guy who has Lily's necklace. And they break the news that Lily died years ago. The Skull Sorcerer learns of this meeting and resurrects Griefbringer, and at the meeting, Griefbringer attacks. So the months Geckos and Ninja are forced to flee into a cave for protection, but it won't be long before the Skull Sorcerer arrives. I feel this episode honestly has some of the best humor in the season. The slug race thing was just hilarious, I honestly love that scene, and Zane cheating his way by using ice, just awesome. It also continues that trend from season 8 with Zane not understanding basic idioms, in this case a white lie. This season's humor has definitely been an upgrade over the last few seasons, and it's been really nice to see it finally returning. But not all of this episode is fun and games and comedy because there are a few serious scenes as well. And I'm talking about when Kai and Zane tell Gleck that Lily died, a very good scene and a pretty sad one as well. It's really interesting to see how much the months and Geckos looked up to or worshipped Lily really, and I find that to be a really cool dynamic. And I also like how each Munz and Gecko seems to have their own personality, you know? Like Gleck from the Geckos and Mert from the Munz. Rather than making this one of those armies where every character is the same and therefore no one is memorable, yeah, this actually, I mean, the characters do have similarities, but there are definitely individual characters here. I also like how Mertessa and Chancellor Gulch haven't just disappeared from the story. Even though they've been replaced by Kai and Nia, they're still part of the story. So it's good to see that the Munz and Geckos are definitely improving and getting fleshed out or expanded upon nicely. Now, this episode earns its name because it marks the return of the feared skull dragon, Griefbringer, and I felt the dragon was really cool this episode. Animated wonderfully, definitely very menacing, very threatening, very intimidating. The action with Griefbringer was all really good, and I enjoyed finally seeing the skull dragon in action. The battle with Lloyd and Zane was good, and I also enjoyed the part where the ninja used ropes to evacuate. And I'm not a huge fan of the way the season 13 suits are designed, but in animated form and the show, they look really good. And lastly, I feel this episode ends off at a good place, where the ninja are safe for now, but there is definitely trouble on the horizon. Alright, for a few very minor issues, I feel like the scene where Griefbringer was revived was a bit underwhelming. I feel like it would have been a bit more impressive and dramatic had we actually seen it getting put back together on screen, but it's done at an angle where we don't really see it happening. Not a huge issue, but I do think it could have been a better scene. And also, I do like this episode's ending, but I have one issue. I do feel it's a bit unnatural for Vangelis to suddenly stop his assault, because he does have Griefbringer and can very easily cross the pit. Also, that part where Kai and Zane realized that Lily was actually Gilly was really dumb. This episode made it seem that the ninja already knew the name of Cole's mother, and they also knew that Cole was talking about how he saw his mother's necklace. On top of that, they also know the Monsa Geckos have a tendency to mispronounce things, so it isn't really hard to put two and two together here. I think this episode's plot was mostly good, also blend of casual and serious scenes, and variety is definitely a good thing. I must say I really enjoyed the humor in this episode in the slug race, but also serious scenes like the scene with Gleck. It overall felt like a very well balanced episode to me. Now as for characters, I actually feel Kai was really good in this episode. I would actually say this is likely Kai's best post-movie season yet, and I found Zane to be pretty funny in this episode as well. Action was really good as well, DHX does really well with these dragon fights, and this is no exception. And for emotion, I really enjoyed that scene with Gleck. I found it to be a very serious scene and definitely helped to balance out the episode. I'm gonna give this episode a final rating of 9.5 out of 10, overall a really good episode. I think this episode's greatest strength is that it's very diverse. It has humor and charm, but no one to be serious as well. And so in the end, we got an episode that doesn't excel in one way, but numerous ways. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, leave a comment explaining your thoughts on episode 11, Griefbringer, and I'll see you guys next time.